Hey there, so this is a tutorial on how to use my inventory tracker notion template. Once you've purchased the template, you will have made a duplicate copy of the template and you have it over here on your left side. Uh, you'll click on the template and have it open. Um, so first of all, you've got the gallery view and then you've got the list view. We'll go over the list view first. Um, so first of all, this is the number um, that you've got item, ID, price, units per item ordered, minimum order quantity and such. So the number, this just means the, you know, number, the numbered item. So this is the first one, this is the second one, third one, fourth one. Um, the next is your actual item name. So if you are, you know, a business owner that is jewelry, t-shirts, soap, whatever, um, this is the actual item. So you can just double click in here and then just write, you know, the item name here. So say you're making soap um, and then the ID number. So say it's the SKU number or whatever ID number that you've got for the item that you're purchasing. Um, the price of the actual item. So say it's, you know, $5 per bar. And then units per item ordered, you're going to put in the number that so say every time you order soap, you have to item, you have to order, you know, a set of 20. Um, the minimum order quantity, that is how much typically if you're ordering from a, a company, sometimes their whole order all together is, you know, say it's 100 pieces total. Price per unit. So say it costs um, you $2.50 per unit. And then the quantity ordered, say you bought 10. Um, so to go over, this is a little bit different than an Excel. So once you're here in the cell, you're kind of clicking it and making sure that the, the little cell turns blue. And then you can use your arrow keys and then go to the right. And then you can kind of get over. Okay, so we were at quantity ordered. Um, number of units in stock. So whatever you have in-house, you've got 10. I can move this over a little bit. Minimum quantity of stock. So however much you want to have in your stock at all times. So you say you don't want to get any lower than 25. Total quantity available. So everything you've got in stock, say you only have 50. And the status double click, you can choose low stock, no stock, or in stock. So say we'll have low. You can put the supplier name. And then the order date. So double click in and choose the date that you placed your order. Um, then we're going to arrow to the right here, expected arrival date, uh, your shipping method, say you purchased it through, um, you know, and they're shipping it through USPS or say it's UPS, tracking number, you can put that there. And then arrow over to the right. Okay, so if you get to the very last one, it kind of goes around in a circle. So once you're at the first one, you can hit arrow to the left. Oh, you can. So we're going to go all the way to that to the right here again. And then the last one is order status. So we've got ordered, shipped, or arrived. So say it's arrived. Um, so that's how that works. And then we've got things on the bottom. So say we've got the total quantity available. This will sum up everything you've got. So all of the items that you've got total will add here. So say we you added, you've got a hundred and that's going to um, change your total here. Say you've got a thousand and then it's going to add everything there. Um, and then minimum quantity that adds up for you. Um, let's see, let me arrow to the left here. Um, quantity ordered, price per unit, all this sums up for you. Um, you can also open this as a full page um, and then you can see a little bit better and then you can move your um, bar to the right and kind of see it a little bit better there. But if you wanted to go back and just stay in the sheet itself, you can just have to arrow over to the right. Um, it's up to you. Um, the gallery view, um, this one's a really neat function. So you can actually say you have a necklace that you are wanting to keep in stock. Um, you can hit edit here. Actually, you just click in there and then you can change the cover. So if you wanted to upload a picture of the, the item that you have, um, then you can do that. You can just upload, you know, picture of, say it's a beautiful necklace, you upload it there. Um, I just went to sun, unsplash and then chose, you know, a pretty picture because I put that in there.
Um, and then anything that you change here, so if you change it to a different, um, you know, bracelet, it's going to change it into your list view as well. That's the number item. That's the ID number. Um, it's been shipped, and you can see kind of all the, the items here. So say you change that from a bracelet here, um, it changed it to a bracelet there. Um, once you get in, you can literally, um, if you want to just delete all of my stuff, you just literally click and drag and then hit the delete button. And then you can, um, here, I'm just going to do it with a couple here. You're just going to delete my items and then that you can start from scratch and then put all of your items there. So that's how that works. Um, so yeah, that's the inventory tracker. I do um, have a business management bundle. It's going to have the order tracker and password tracker and a few other things in there. So, um, but yeah, uh, thanks so much for um, watching this video. If you found me on YouTube, feel free to click on the link in the description below to purchase this Notion template. Um, thanks and have a great day.